yeah, we show the shine. Everybody get cray like me. I'm so cray, it's on my ID. Everybody serious, looking for deep material. Chill and turn up the stereo and dance like me. Please don't wreck the party. Can't have fun, cause the week was hard. Go nuts, turn up, get sane. You ain't seen nothing, we about to go cray. If it gets wild, I'ma jump in the crowd and show the whole front row that I know how to fly. You think we on 10, boy, you ain't seen nothing. Three, two, one, cray button. God is doing some pretty amazing things on this trip, and he saved a lot of people, and he came into our hearts, and I just honestly can't wait for what he has in store. I think God's really shown me that, that I have a lot of true friends at this church that I can go to for anything, and that will always be there for me no matter what, and yeah, I've just made some really, really good friends that I never would have never imagined if I would been so close to. Never give up. I mean, God's still there. No matter how much it seems like you're down, just keep trying and then you're good. I just stood up and accepted God into my life and it felt really good to have all those people around me and pray for me and pray with me. And I feel like our life is a puzzle, but now I feel like the puzzle is complete because Jesus finally put the glue together to hold it fresh up there. Um, since I've been here throughout this week, I found out where my relationship with Jesus is, and I have also found out that I really I need to be more connected with Him. Than what I am. I need to read the Bible in every single you know, time that I have during the day. And I can never say that I'm too busy because I'm not. And um, I actually, for the first time, I've heard God speak to me and found out what it's like. I cried the whole time. It was, <laughs> it was very emotional but very powerful. Like in Luke 9.23, for he spoke to them all, if you want to be my disciples, you must deny themselves and take up the cross daily and follow me. I think that that means like you should not always worry about being a fan. I think you should worry about following Jesus. You gotta crucify yourself. And then you follow Jesus. Don't be a fan, be a follower. Love you guys.